here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. He's the kind of fighter who you just know has no self-doubts. Look at the way he's making his way down to the ring right now. You can see it in his eyes. Terrible is not throwing any fuel onto the fire for his opponent. He's just making his way down to the ring in a way in which he's checking that time card, ready to punch in and get to work. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Able to get rid of that one. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. He was hurt. Wow, this should be fun to see right here. He hurt him. This is like a cat and a mouse game right now. He's just bullying him, pushing him around. Yeah, the cat, I've seen this cat and mouse game before. The cat was named George Foreman. The mouse, Joe Frazier. He was pushing him back, parrying him back, where he could finally get him where he wanted him. seconds to go here in this round. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by El Terrible. Not able to land the headshot. Able to dismiss that body shot. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. rid of that body shot. Ten clicks of the talk. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Now here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round, and you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. I agree with you, Joe. You, 
Okay. It's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. You won that round, all right? You won that. There you go. That's the match. El Terribles bounces back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. Unable to connect by El Terrible. Keep moving, keep moving. How about that left hand? Good defensive skill. Let's see some more head movement. Doing great. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Teddy, I've heard you say it a million times early on in a fight. If there's any one piece of good advice you can give, it's start depositing it into that bank. Go to the body. Yeah, because the interest comes later, and you're going to see the payoff in the late rounds. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Keep that head moving. Very nice defensive guard there. Not precise at all by El Terrible. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. Not much action as he just ties up. Wow, what an uppercut. 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 A well placed left hand up top. You see him holding on. Left hand coming into play by El Terrible. El Terrible's opponent has to be getting a little frustrated here. Remember, he had him stunned earlier. He had him damaged a bit, but now the clinching. Well, that's what he wants him to do, Joe. He wants to frustrate him. If he frustrates him, then he can recover a little bit. He can get him out of his game a little bit, and then maybe he can launch a comeback in the later rounds. Wide shots that aren't sharp or targeted. That has been his problem tonight. El Terrible's corner's got to be thrilled with what they just saw. They won that last round. They put down a beat down on their opponent. And now they got to be thinking, hey, this thing could really snowball in our favor big time when we get off the stool here. Yeah, they have to feel that way. Keep it going. Why change it now? You know, what you did the last round, it worked for you. It got you into a commanding position. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. But remember your defensive responsibilities as you go forward. And round number three is underway. Off the target by El Terrible. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. El Terrible is proving to be elusive. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. He 
took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. El Terrible's got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Body shot, body shot. And he just holds on there. Use the ring, use the ring. <laughs> Missed the body. Oh! And down he goes after that left hand. One, two, three, four, five. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit. But I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. <laughs> up top with the right hand. El Terrible is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Keep doing what you're doing. Come on, breathe deeply. Inhale. Some air in your lungs, all right? You're fighting his game plan. Boxing. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Nice work. He can't handle your speed. It's too much for him. Keep it up. Keep it up. The quick takeaway from the first three rounds is that one guy's got the higher punch output, the other one's lagging behind. As we start round number four, Teddy's scorecard, three rounds to none. Yeah, the one guy with the high punch rate, the reason he's winning relax, and the reason relax. why he's effective is he's in the geography of the ring he needs to be in tight. El Terrible is throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing Keep damage, moving. as you said. A target on his head, okay. and how about that left right there? Clinch, clinch! <laughs> Patience! Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. And he engages in the clinch. <laughs> Blocks a shot. He is damaged badly. Did you see that? And for the second time tonight, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must Unload. to prepare. If Unload. you're a trainer, One that's punch. what you do in the gym. Okay. You Let's teach go. a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Halfway through round number four. Work the body, kid. El Terrible's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Keep your distance. 
He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by El Terrible. Punch! Punch! Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Like that, things turn around. A back and forth round. Both men have been rocked. This is what boxing's about. This is what battle is about. This is what Let's human spirit happens. is all about. And round four comes to an end. Let me paint this picture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Or he watched the movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Great yep. movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring where he will not be vulnerable on that side. El Terrible's trainer is telling him, hey, just stick with what you've been doing. Yeah, but what he was doing caused him to get rocked that earlier. Yeah, sometimes you have to make it an adjustment. Now, they don't feel it's time yet, but that time's coming. It's Hook. coming quick. Hook. That punch just close. <laughs> Move it. Left and right, left and right. El is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. I don't know what was said to him in the corner, but now he's the busier man. And he needs to be before any more time goes by. Fires off that hook. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Focus. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Get in there! Jump on! Nice! Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. El Terrible has been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. Just missed with that punch. Accurate with a straight left. Boom, left hand comes home. He okay, turned things around. And wow! Late goings here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And round five comes to an end. 60 seconds. That's all they get. Just 60 seconds to deal with the fact that their fighter has an eye that's completely shut. That's all they need. I mean, that's their job. Now they got to show that they can perform under those conditions.
No need to get excited. We can win. This is it. You heard it. Keep on him. The start of the sixth round. El Terrible's corner has to be pleased with everything they've seen so far tonight. Consensus ringside is that this is a one-sided fight, that he's in complete control on the scorecards. Yeah, well, he's having his way, and it's not going to change unless he gets a little cocky here. If he starts looking for maybe one shot instead of putting them together the way he's doing, hey, maybe it allows his opponent to have a little bit of hope, a little ray of hope, get back in this fight. Good defensive skill with the block by El Terrible. El Terrible is putting on a show here, defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes, he's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. Pace yourself. Unload! More punch! <laughs> Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Just misses with that headshot. El Terrible's really got a way about him when it comes to his footwork, his movement. It's serving him very well. Big shot, the right came clean. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. One, two, three. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? Joe, one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're gonna find out right now, he needs them right now. Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. You gotta land a big punch now. No doubt about it. You are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Look at me. Knock this motherfucker out. Listen, I want to see that... A new round underway here. El Terrible is hoping that he doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see, as hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. He missed with that headshot. Right. El Terrible is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the Step equation focus. where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed 
you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Oh, what a whiff by El Terrible. <laughs> Halfway through the seventh round. He's got half of the equation figured out. He's throwing a lot of punches. But the more important half of the equation, he's way off the mark. Yeah, well, you know, he should talk to a golf pro. You know, if you want to hit a golf ball, you want to hit it straight, you wouldn't stand crooked, would you? <laughs> I mean, your feet would have to stand where you can hit the ball where your feet are pointing. That's the problem. His feet are crooked. They're pointing the wrong way, and his punches are going the wrong way. And round seven comes to an end. You got power. Use it. Come on. We're losing this fight. Let's get back into the fight now, all right? We gotta get into the fight. Let's go, you're stronger than this guy. All right, you look great. Just don't go crazy in there. Box smart for me. Round number eight underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. You see the big margin and differential here, but don't go channel surfing on us. This fight is hardly over. Both men have traded knockdowns. Pace yourself. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Misses his opponent's headshot. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Oh, what a left hand. He got to him, he hurt him there. El Terrible's opponent is trying to smother him, but instead, he's pushing him away, trying to land a big shot. And he's lucky he's getting away with it, Joe, that the referee's not warning him for this. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by El Terrible.
Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. So he takes a breather between rounds after he's just put forth more of the same punishment. Teddy, we've been sitting here all night long as he lands these thudding blows. You can just hear the damage landing. Yeah, and I can feel them. Some fluids that I don't really want are coming onto my shirt. All right, deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Big left hand. Shake it off, let's go. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You okay. gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't wanna stay in the middle. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Block. Uppercut. Keep working your body. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Just grabbing on to his opponent. Keep working the body. And now looking to hang on. Relax, relax. Terrible is showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. <laughs> Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Back to the body. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. And that does it for this round. El Terrible is in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats. He's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it any other way. Keep smart, baby. Keep smart. You got this. There you go. Listen, he's done. He's done. I want you to double up on that jab and finish out with a hook, okay? One, one, two, one, one, two. This is round number 10, scheduled for 10. Able to dismiss it. Defense, more defense.
He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Keep your head. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Keep moving. Keep moving. Blocks that punch. How do you break out of this, Teddy? How do you break out of this? Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Good return fire that time. Halfway through this 10th and final round. Pace yourself. Not able to land the uppercut. Pace yourself. Last dance, last chance. Unlocked. Last minute Unlocked. of the last Four round. Punches. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. From start to finish, it was utter domination. This was an easy one to score, Joe. As for that expected outcome, we send it up to the ring to hear from the judges. Unanimous decision win by El Terrible. That's the way we saw it all night long. The judges agree. It was hard to see it any other way. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.